Welcome back, everyone. It's not the typical squirrel or chipmunk that's raising eyebrows outside a South Fargo apartment complex. It's a peacock. A viewer sent us photos of a peacock outside of Flicker Tail Apartments across from the YMCA, so we decided to check if the colorful creature was still there. To our surprise, yes, he was. Never have heard of uh, peacocks roaming around, so this is a first. Wow, so colorful. Wow, that is amazing. Peacocks in Fargo. It's very weird. I definitely found it. Deputy Chief Joe Anderson with Fargo Police says they tried to capture a peacock last week at the Buena Vista Trailer Park. But after an unsuccessful attempt, they called the Red River Zoo. And they couldn't catch the bird either. Here's what we know. The peacock did not come from the zoo, and Fargo police are waiting to hear back from a wildlife rescue out of Grand Forks to help assist in catching the peacock. Police say the peacock isn't a public safety risk, and as pretty as it looks, just leave it alone. They also add if they try to dart it, they would kill it, which they don't want to do. And don't forget the second annual Officers Down 5K and Community Day coming up in a few weeks. It's for a good cause. The money raised goes to the Jason Mosier Family Benefit Fund and the Red River Valley Police Auxiliary. The event is coming up on June 18th at Shields Arena in Fargo and includes the 5K run, a one-mile walk, and a kid's fun run. You can sign up or donate to the cause at valleynewslive.com. Just click on the Community tab at the top of our homepage. So basically, you were driving from field <laughs> to field to field. Today. We just we go from back and forth, back yeah. and forth. Five state tournaments kicking off today. We've got highlights from all across the state of North Dakota for you next in sports.